happy to announce uh, uh, Dr. Antenna Faisa. Dr. Faisa is an assistant professor of neurology and the head of our EG program. He's going to be talking to you about the stimulating talk of, of uh, status and non-convulsive status. So please welcome Antenna. All right. Thank you, Dr. Freeman, for inviting me to give this talk. So the title of my talk is Status Epilepticus. And although I was supposed to talk about EEG correlates, today I wouldn't be uh, discussing EEG correlates. So tomorrow we have actually a, a workshop that's heavily going to you know, go over EEG, ectal EEG, you know, slowing other EEG patterns. So today we'll just focus on management of status epilepticus. I have no uh, significant disclosures related to this talk. So let's start off from defining seizures. So seizures are transient occurrence of signs or symptoms due to abnormal, excessive, or synchronous neuronal activity in the brain. And the term transient here is used to demarcate as if seizure usually ha would have a beginning and then the end. And most seizures do have a beginning and an end. Now, I would start off with a question, though. How long do you guys think most convulsive seizures last? Most seizures are usually, unless, you know, most of the time seizures, discrete convulsive seizure last, you know, for a minute or two. And if a seizure were to last longer than five minutes, then it's most likely going to be, you know, difficult to treat or difficult to stop. So, status epilepticus is defined as continuous seizures that last longer than five minutes or recurrent seizures with, without complete recovery of consciousness between seizures. And about 150,000 cases per year would be seen in, in the U.S. Now, in terms of timing, status epilepticus is classified as impending status. So that's usually about f up to five minutes, five to ten minutes. Then you have established status epilepticus for, you know, certain minutes to hours, and then refractory status, and then super refractory status. Now, in terms of the clinical presentation, status epilepticus can have convulsive status, i.e. you would see some motor activity during the seizure, or non-convulsive status epilepticus. And you could either have focal or generalized, you know, semiology or EEG features in them. Well, in 2015, the ILE has come up with a new conceptual definition of status epilepticus. And they define status epilepticus for convulsive seizure, as I said, five minutes, but they think it occurs because either of failure of mechanisms that are responsible for termination, 